Great, so jumping into the lock screen video, this is the Blurtopian setup. If you haven't seen part one, you definitely want to do that as we're going to be showing you how to set up this awesome setup right here. You definitely don't want to miss that. But one thing we do want to be focusing in this video tutorial is to how to set up the Blurtopian's lock screen. If we have a quick look, it's got this awesome little quote that you could change if you want, as well as this cool little nifty sign in here to you can also change that if you want. You can have your own picture. Looks really awesome. And the coolest thing, it's got your either your unlock button or your screen off. So tapping that will just turn off your phone again. You do not need it, but say if you want to unlock it now, you want to be going for the little thumbs up. So I really like that. Brings it up to your home screen. So if you'd like to know how to recreate that lock screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just let you know what apps you'll be needing. First of all, definitely widget locker, as well as UCCW and power toggles. Also, don't forget to check in the description below for the links that you'll need for the blank PNG, as well as the as well as the UCCW skins that you just need to copy onto your phone. Also, don't forget to copy that folder that comes with all your resources that'll be needed for this little setup here, such as your wallpapers. So keep that in mind and let us begin with the setup. So the first thing you want to do is to get rid of any widgets that you have on your widget locker. So I've just got all of these, you just hold down it on it, on it and select remove. So the same goes for any slider or anything else. So I've got, gotten rid of everything else as well as just change the wallpaper quickly just to show you guys how to set it up. So you should have a completely blank screen. You just want to have this little settings icon at the top. So you just want to select it now, it's going to bring up all your different setups. Next we want to go into our look and feel. From here you want to select alternative wallpaper as you don't want the wallpaper as your background home screen. So we want to select our wallpaper now. Going to go into our quick pick or gallery whatever else you prefer. As now we want to be selecting that wallpaper that you've copied onto your phone. So we're just going to select our page background now. We want to go into our lock screen. Now what I have done is for the Nexus 4 guys it's made it a bit better as it doesn't crop off the writing. So. If you have a next, if you have a Galaxy S3 or something with or a phone with a similar resolution, then I do recommend using the first one. But all I did was move this down a little bit. It does come with the PSD in the folder, so you're welcome to make it however else you want it to look. So I just left this for now, just to make my lock screen look a lot better. So you just want to make it um, drag it out to the edge and make sure that it touches the bottom, so that we can see our two icons there. And you want to select save. It's gonna set that image for you up real quick and simple. So next we're going to go into our layout. We're going to select our layout and now the one thing you want to notice is that you got your little anchor on this phone, very really old school phone. But the one thing you want to do is make sure that it's dragged all the way to the bottom. Next thing you want to do is to deselect automatically determined grid size as you do not need that because you just want to select it a 12 by 12. So a 12 by 12 works really well. You're welcome to change it if you want, but works good for now. So I'm going to select save. Next, we want to select hide notification bar. We don't want that one at the top as well as to deselect label shortcuts as it just also comes in handy. Now, a lot of people complain about when you select your menu here, it'll just unlock the phone. So I'm just going to select, show you a quick go around or work around. Going to go into your advanced settings, going to go into your home helper and you want these selected. You want home helper component, home helper block home, as well as block home in other apps. You want those to be selected just so that when you select your menu, it'll just bring you up into your stock lock screen just in case anything bad happens. So another thing you want to take note is widget overlap. Not too important, but I always have this selected. It's a good tip just for any lock screen you want to set up. It doesn't hurt just to have that selected. And yeah, that is our widget locker settings complete. That's all of our background done we're just going to select back so hope she hopefully it should look like this as we can now jump into adding in all the quick and simple widgets so starting from top to bottom we're going to be adding in the uccw skin over here that i showed earlier it's got your little user icon all i did was make a little quick mock-up as the one you can also just edit it on photoshop however if you don't have photoshop this will be the next best thing you want to go into uccw a 4 by 3 works pretty well so i'm just going to be selecting that and you want to be going into uzip from here you want to be selecting the blurtopians lock mcs dot uzip that's just a little quick skin i created just for this and just in case you don't have like i said photoshop so you just want to tap the hand and let's hold down on it select resize as you just want to make it cover this blue area so 
it's gonna select it like that resize it a bit and it should be looking like this so now what's cool is if you just want to quickly edit it you can just select that area bring up the editor if you don't not too sure how to use uccw check in the link below for the complete uccw guide and you want to select from here if you say you want to change the image you want to go into your background you want to go into image one which is this little wolverine standing next to the bathroom so if you want to change that you want to go into your image now you can say go into your quick pick or your gallery and then choose another image so i'm just going to go for that one over there it's going to be a bit small that's or well, big let's just upgrade the scale a bit now what's hard is that you can't really see you pretty much going in blind here as you say if you want to select position move it a bit out you can't really see unless you go into your image one and then go into your shape one what exactly it's been editing out so also what might happen is that uccw for some reason now i'm not sure if it's the latest update is that the switching between the images and shapes doesn't work out too well so if we just select back as you can see it's fixed it up nicely so next you want to select it again bring up the editor go into your background go into your static text one as if you scroll across and select our text here you can change it to whatever font you want and this will change so great so once that uccw skin has been added we just need to add in the custom slider and the power toggles screen off bar so you want to hold down in this little thumb thumb ups here and you want to select custom slider from here it should have your stock slider here so we just want to make it blank in order to do that take the little green one here we want to scroll across to the right hand side and now select disabled as now it'll now make it disabled and disappear same goes for the audio icon here we just want to select it or hold on it swipe it to the left and you want to select disabled That'll now disappear as well as we just more importantly worried about this middle one over here we want to select widget locker actions on it and we want to select unlock as now tapping on it will unlock your phone we don't want this green icon so we want to select icon now we want to go into our gallery and now we want to look for that blank png so we just want to select go into an area that you've that you found we want to select that blank png and just want to select the tick and select done so it'll hopefully set it up for you just gonna hold down in that area select resize it's quite a bit wider than we want it to be so we just want to come on we just want to get it so that it just covers that little thumb area so that's good that is your unlock button done next we want to be moving into the screen off power toggle button so we just want to hold down on that area select widgets this time we want to scroll down to power toggle so we're going to keep going down and there it is so it's going to come up with all of these you don't want all of these so if you just tap on one of them and select remove it will disappear so you just want to keep doing this until there's just one left as you can't get rid of it and now you want to select add toggle a little button there and you want to scroll down in your toggles and we want to look for the one called screen lock it'll be under hardware so you want to select screen lock brings up the little lock now you can remove this whatever icon you have left so you just want to have that lock done want to scroll down we'll tap the drop down here from here it brings up your different colors we just want this one this gray one to be completely transparent so we're just going to select it now move the alpha so that's all the way to the right and select set color it should now disappear from here we want to go into our background full as we just want it to be transparent so we want to swipe it all the way to the left hand side this time as now it should be completely transparent and then for your last one button dividers you just want to get that drop down there and you want to select hidden as you don't want to have that little ugly line on the side so that's done that is our power toggles set up complete you want to select done now and it should hopefully be disappearing for you now it's not really easy to see it should be in this vicinity as it will now be blank you want to select resize now and just get it so it's more or less covering that button so a little bit more in and there we have our lock screen complete guys thank you very much if we can just test it out just tapping that handle down just turn off our screen looks really cool it's got a little sign in info here as well as tapping the thumbs up will unlock your phone thank you very much guys for watching this lock screen video tutorial if you have any questions please leave them in the description below as well as like or comment if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe also remember that we have our Facebook, Google+, Twitter communities, our new Instagram accounts, as well as our blog. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.